Hey everybody, welcome to Real Addiction Fishing, your number one channel for everything fishing. I'm Brandon, your host. And I'm his other half, Amanda. And I'm little Brandon, but you can call me Bubba. So be sure to check out our channel, follow us on Instagram, and as always, Fish, fish on. on! What's up everybody, it's Brandon with Real Addiction. I want to do a quick video and kind of go over and do a... Uh, an overview of my boat and my setup um, I do own a tracker it is one of the number one selling boats in the world because of the cheap how cheap it is and how affordable it is so there's a lot of different videos but there's not a lot of videos on modifications and how to use the VersaTrack system and I wanted to go over a video and show you what I did to make my boat easier for me um, since I primarily use it for fishing uh, this is my boat it's a 2016 tractor target 18 footer um, it was a combo edition when we bought it we had the uh, kids in mind um, bought it so we could tow it has the ski pole feature um, it also had a jump seat conversion uh, which folded down for a uh, extended deck fishing deck i don't do a lot of tournament fishing or bass fishing so i don't use a fishing deck in the front which has a seat pedestal and in the rear so just recently um, if you come and take a look over here i drilled out the rivets to the folding deck to make a larger area in the rear uh, of the boat for fishing uh, in turn i also mounted uh, vertical rod holders to uh, store the rods during transport um, I have found that removing the convertible seat feature has made it very uh, much more pleasurable while out fishing um, it's also alleviated about a hundred pounds of weight in the boat um, fortunate enough for me I was able to sell that uh, bench seat to somebody online who was looking to add seats to his boat so it worked out in my favor with that being said the boat is primarily used for fishing so anyways moving on anybody that owns a newer tracker um, knows that the tracker comes stock with the VersaTrack system for those that don't know the VersaTrack system is the track system that runs on the inner siding of the boat um, for me what I did to make my rod holders is I bought the nylon track or the nylon track system from scotty they're available on amazon they're about 16 dollars okay it's this piece right here it's a nylon track system it's for a downrigger basically it comes with the four holes on the top to mount the scotty product the two on the side what I do is it takes a half inch carriage bolt. You take a half inch carriage bolt that slides right inside the hole of the VersaTrack system right here. Yes, your rails will get chewed up. It's unfortunate, but it's a boat. It gets used and that's what it's for. So I'm sure I'll get feedback on that. But anyways, the half inch carriage bolts, they lock down. They're nice and tight with a little spin lock. It is not moving. Once that feature is in there, you are able to use any mount of your choice. For the backs, I use ram mounts. I like ram mounts. The ram mounts fit on there. It is not moving. It is, you can move it in any position. It is solid as can be. I have done this with the Scotties, with the rams, and they have held into place. Um, I also found that system over there on Amazon, which I do like, however, it's a little more pricey. This system is virtually the same thing. However, it's more of an L bracket. It leans over the gunnel. I want to say this system was 20 something dollars. Um, they are available. Um, they are hit and miss. Um, it is a company that does make these kinds of mounts for this system. Same setup you can get away with. You're very welcome. It was delicious. Oh, good to hear. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, we live in a small community, so 
we gave our neighbor some of the excess fish that we caught and she came out and thanked us for that so uh anyway moving on back to the uh, tour of the boat um so i just recently started using the bimini i had it from day one when i bought it uh maybe used it a time or two i always felt like it got in the way but with the uh, recent heat and going to the bay with the winds um, I started utilizing it a lot more. I added the uh, extra windshield like that came with the boat when I bought it. Um, Dalco Marine is who makes the Bimini top as well as the boat cover. Um, I recently went online to Dalco and purchased the side curtains for this. Um, they are on order, they should be here soon, but with Corona crap going on, um, it, my order's been a little delayed. Once that comes in, I will do an installation video. <clears throat> so there is something available for that. Um, upon researching it online, there's not a whole lot available for the tracker and side curtain installation. So I wanna make sure that that gets posted. If you have questions about that, um, <clears throat> drop, a, drop a comment. Um, I'll put the link in there to the website um, and the model number for anybody with the tracker Targa that wants to purchase the side curtains. They were uh, $285, I believe, for the set. Um, anyways, uh, again, I am, I'm going to be doing a lot more upgrades to the boat in the next um, month or so. I did buy a wash down station that uh, will be mounted into the boat here shortly. Um, I found a location in the rear um, that gives me access to where the bilges are at um, that I intend on using to... Oh, I gotta ask. What's up? Who makes that boat look good? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> keep seeing this boat on my Facebook feed every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gotta gotta use my time, man. To hey feed. guys. Okay, round three. Back again. <laughs> Back again. So I apologize. Again, we live in a small community, and it's a gated community, so everybody knows everybody's business, and. When your boat's parked out front for weeks on end, uh, they tend to ask what you've caught and they see me outside cleaning fish so people stop and ask questions. So trying to film a video outside as people drive by when your house is located in the front of the community is not an easy task to say the least. Um, anyways, moving on. I did buy a wash down station. Uh, that will be installed shortly. It is a much needed um, uh, necessity for this boat and the amount of fishing that we do. Um, if you pan over there, the boat comes... Okay, as I stated, when I purchased the boat, it came stock with the Lowrance 5-inch unit. Um, this particular unit has been replaced. Um, this is the Elite 5. Uh, it was, it's a colored edition. I think the stock one was black and white. Um, this has GPS and everything in it. It's kind of a low-budget unit. I purchased it off of a buddy who uh, uh, upgraded and had to reinstall the transducer and um, it's been a decent unit. The GPS is pretty good. I wasn't too fond of the quality of the uh, actual unit itself. So I recently bought the Hummingbird Helix 7, um, which I remove. That I mounted on a ram mount right into the middle of the dash. I bolted it down. Um, I went with the seven inch, not the nine. Um, it does not obstruct my view as I thought it was going to, but it's actually been uh, a really great unit <clears throat> and I enjoy running both. I primarily run my side scan and my down scan on my Humminbird and I keep the map system up on my Lowrance. Um, and it's nice to be able to not have to pan be uh, be between different screens on one unit. So I have everything I need um, and it's, it's worked out for me. So I do like that. Um, I got the Humminbird on sale for I think for less than $400 at Bass Pro. It's been a great unit. I can't say anything negative about it at this point in time. Um, anyways moving on I do not use a kicker motor on my boat um, as much as I would love to have one they are very pricey um, there is not much of a lip to mount it on this particular boat I know guys that do have them and they do mount kicker plates on the boat um, I personally don't have the uh, means right now to go ahead and add one of those and not only that um, I find that the kicker or the uh, trolling plate on the rear of the motor works just as adequate um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to lift it and drop it and that kind of a thing it can be at times but when you've done it and that's all you've done it it's it's like anything else it kind of becomes easier the more you do it so um, 
the only issue I'm having, this is my third Happy Troller. Um, I do like them. They, they work great. But the problem that I don't like is they do crack over time. Um, I have a buddy that's going to uh, weld an aluminum bracket on there to prevent that and to make it more sturdy so I don't have to keep buying them. They do get um, expensive after you've bought three or four over the course of owning the boat. So um, I did just recently replace the trolling motor batteries. Um, got two brand new uh, Deep Cycle 27s. All right. So I'm back. Um, that pretty much sums up the uh, my boat anyway and the setup that I've got on my boat. I will go into a later video on how I run my downriggers, how I've got my mounts. I already have a video on my uh, YouTube channel about the VersaTrack mounts that I got from Fishing Engineering for my uh, downriggers. They work fantastic. I'll go over a more detailed in-depth video later on. And uh, over the course of the next month, when all these parts and stuff come in, um, we'll go over an installation video so you can uh, see how that stuff gets put on the boat. Um, other than that, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later.